In this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove a CRT monitor from an arcade monitor chassis, um, which might be something you would want to do if you were doing a tube replacement on an old arcade chassis. The first thing you're going to want to do is um, remove anything that's connected to the monitor um, so that you can actually remove it. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, pull this guy out. And if you just kind of jiggle it lightly, it'll pop off. And just kind of push that to the side. Now, you're going to want to look around the monitor and see if there's any other areas where you might have a connection. Um, obviously the main area is going to be this guy over here, which we're going to use the gloves to remove. Um, and just you know kind of double check that you don't have any other connections going up uh, like we got right here um, we got some wires here that are connected so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all those guys and those might be plugged into the yoke up here in this section um, instead of connected down here like these are Okay, so I got all these guys disconnected from the chassis as well now. So, to do this next part, um, just to be on the extra safe side, I'm going to put one of these gloves on. And the first thing you're going to want to do is just kind of stick this back here. make sure that you got no charge by just kind of touching them together you should hear a pop if there's any kind of charge left uh, I don't think on this guy there is it's been disconnected for a little while um, you can see back here what we got it's basically like a little clip that's behind this suction cup that's holding it in place so I'm gonna press down on it with one of the sides with the screwdriver and try to pop it off. And that's that. So that's moved out of there. And uh, we can see now that basically um, most of our connections are going to be loose now. And if we move this a little bit, let's see. Uh, back connections are can be loosened up. Now, the last thing we have to do is actually unscrew these bolts that hold the monitor on. So once you pull those bolts out, um, the monitor is going to kind of just slip out pretty easily. Um, you can see here the bolts have been removed and I'm kind of just holding it in place and uh, you can just kind of carefully hold on to it and let that back just kind of fall out. And pull the monitor away. There you have it. That's how you remove a monitor from a chassis. Hope you have another monitor you're going to want to try to put that back in there um it's kind of going in reverse of what you just did so once you've completed taking that monitor out of your chassis um it's always a good idea to put any remaining parts back on like the bars or anything um from the old machine uh you might use them again if you put another monitor in or if you've changed a flat screen you may not need them but uh you never know when a chassis like this could come in handy um, when you find a new tube for another game or something like that so usually I'll uh, get rid of the tubes and keep the chassis for future use or even for possibly selling them to somebody else who could use them so that's the end of the video I hope that it was helpful uh, if you got any questions or comments feel free to leave them uh, 
and uh, thanks for watching.